Previously on Behind Closed Doors. I don't want there to be any scripts this time because you're as good as dead, Cassandra. All right? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be leaving on a road trip with my cousins, so I won't be back for a while since so the last time I'll see you. Oh, yeah, I just saw that girl, um, Tabitha. She's sisters with Tanya, and I hate Tanya. She shoved me in a pool. Oh, yeah, I never liked Tanya. She was so mean. Oh, yeah, I hate that she shoved me in the pool. I, I remember that day like it was yesterday. So, you know what? I'm just going to leave before she notices that I'm here. Okay, Veronica, uh, you better, yeah, get out of here because she's probably going to come in here real quick because she's my next visitor. Bye, Renee. Okay, bye. Oh, oh my goodness. I was sleeping. You were sleeping? Oh, oh my boob hurts. I have a few questions to ask you. Okay. okay. Um, you know Cassandra Peterson, right? Ew, yes I do. Alright, um, when was the last time you saw her? Oh, let me see. Probably yeah, it was about five months ago, and mm -hmm. it was December 2009. I really don't remember the day. I know that um, it was close to Christmas, mm -hmm. and uh, I was invited by Carrie Saunders. She invited me over to Michelle Saunders' house, and because uh, I was having a stressful time and with the pregnancy and all, and um, my mother was really irritating me, so I went over to to Michelle's house to stay, but Carrie wasn't there, but I later found out that she was already dead. Do you remember, or should I rewind, to that summer when you caught my eye? I played it cool, the weather was hot, you had the beauty and the beach on lock. Put your flip flops, hat, shirt, short shorts, mini skirt. Walking on the beach. So I saw Cassandra strangling Roxy to death. And Roxy fell to the ground. Cassandra saw me and she ran after me and she ran around and chased me around the house. <sighs> and we got outside and she cornered me and she shoved me to the ground. And that's when I lost my baby. <laughs> I hope it works. That's what I had the miscarriage. Well, I'm sorry about that. And then I woke up three days later, and then I came home. And my annoying mother brought me here. So I've been here for about five months and mm -hmm. I'm tired of it. Do you know when I'm going to get out of here? They don't tell me that. <sighs> so what else do you want to know? Actually that was, actually that was exactly what I needed to know. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> it kind of was trapped in that trunk. What happened? <laughs> Some redneck person attacked me. He attacked me too. <gasps> oh my god, you're fighting. Okay, we have to find a man. We have to, we have to go find. We have to go find Cynthia. Let's go find her. Let's go. <laughs> Hi, Olivia. I come here to talk to you about work. Come in. Cynthia? What? I found Cynthia! Where is she? mentally unstable mm -hmm. and uh, if we just give her some more medication and maybe a shot soon I think she will be better and we can release her soon oh. so then when she's out of there we can start uh, tending to Myrtle because even though she's still in a coma after five months I think she will be leaving a coma soon because I, I think it's she even though coma patients can be in coma from Years and years. What are you doing? Nothing. Coma patients can be in their coma state for years. So, but I'm at her expected uh, exit from a coma would be pretty soon. I. I like your hair today. Thank you. I hope that she uh, gets out of a coma soon because I am worried because for someone that fell into a coma from, from a car accident that's pretty intense. So I guess I'll see you at work, Olivia. Yeah. Next, on Behind Closed Doors. Words with Miss Hope, I have some good news for you. I wonder who that could be. Michelle's happy! 